Hey, this is Siki from Cloud9, and this is my top five dual lanes in Silicu. So my number five lane, I'm going to put as Callista Kench, Tom Kench, of course. Uh, it's a pretty sweet lane. Uh, I think it's was one of the most broken lanes on a uh, 521, just because Callista was the most broken AD, and then Tom Kench was the most broken support. But they had a special interaction together where if, <laughs> if Tom Kinch ever eats anybody, then Kalista can just ulti him backwards and you throw that guy all the way back into your terror and that guy's just gone. So it was a pretty deadly lane and still is. And I haven't played it that much personally, but I know it's an insanely strong lane uh, if you just want to have some fun with your support bud. Uh, my number four lane is going to be Misfortune Janna. I think it's a pretty decent combo. Uh, you know, Janna just shields Misfortune whenever she tries to go for Qs in lane phase and just makes it do that extra insane amount of damage. And then, you know, mid-game, Janna kind of peels for the Misfortune. Doesn't really combo too well for the ulti, just because I guess you can sometimes screw each other over with Janna pushing people away when Misfortune's trying to ulti or something like that, but she's also really good at peeling for Misfortune. So they save, uh, Janna saves Misfortune a good amount, and they're pretty strong combo together. My number three lane is Ezreal Bard. It's... A pretty fun lane to play, actually. Uh, I think it's one of my favorite Ezreal lanes. It's just, you sit around, poke with your Qs, both of you, just dealing tons of damage. You have tons of sustain from Bard. Bard's actually a really strong laner. And then later in the game, if Bard ever ults anybody, then you can get a free ulti on Ezreal as well. So they set each other up pretty nicely. Uh, they do very good amount of damage. I think it's probably the most fun lane with Ezreal. Everyone else is kind of boring. like. Janna Ezreal, super defensive. Ezreal, Tom Kench is, it's okay, it's kind of weird. <laughs> Ezreal brand, tons of poke, but Bard is the most fun for me. My number two lane is Caitlyn Brand. It's a super high damage and poke lane. Uh, it's pretty hard for the enemy to really get anything done against you. The only time they'd ever be able to is if they have, uh, I guess maybe like a Thresh who can get that one miracle hook and just end the lane phase right there but besides that you'll win almost any sort of 2v2 duel and probably even 2v3 it's just so much damage and so much poke that no one can really deal with your early game i, I guess it falls off a bit mid game just because of the way brand support works it's usually better to have items on brand than it is to just have him support but he's insanely strong lane phase and you can snowball that snowball that pretty hard which is pretty valuable right now my number one lane is Lucian Sona. Probably isn't the best game or best lane in the game right now, but it's definitely a super strong laning phase uh, combo. It's just tons of damage, tons of poke. Sona's heals are super strong right now. Uh, it's fun to play because it's like a better Soraka just because of the fact that she brings CC. I, I don't like Soraka for the fact that she can't really make the plays. She kind of has to wait around for the plays to happen. And then Sona, you know, she could flash ulti and get tons of people see seed so that's a pretty cool part about this combo and i think lucian's just the most broken ad carry at the moment uh his build path is just too strong getting all that free cdr from essence fever and then trinity force if he wants it he, he can go like any of the items any of the build paths he's just so versatile at the moment thanks for checking out my top five dual lanes uh make sure to check out the rest of the other stuff over here at lawclass.com